Welcome to Windmill. Windmill is the fastest open source workflow engine and most powerful self-hostable developer platform designed to build comprehensive internal tools like runnable scripts, endpoints, workflows, or UIs. In this series, we'll introduce you to Windmill's three main editors. The script editor to write and run code, the flow editor to organize scripts into structured workflows, and the app editor to build custom UIs with local components. Windmill is easy to self-host using a single Docker command and is also available as a fully managed cloud service. 99% of what you will see throughout those videos is free and unlimited under the open source edition of Windmill. The series is divided into three videos, one for each editor. You can see the table of contents on screen now. Along the way, we'll also cover some of Windmill's core fundamentals, like handling dependencies, managing permissions, building data pipelines, local development with a CLI, and syncing with Git. Let's get started. From our Windmill workspace, let's begin by creating a new script. Windmill support multiple languages out of the box, including TypeScript, Python, and SQL dialects like Postgres, SQL, and MySQL, as well as scripting tools like PowerShell or Bash. For this example, we'll go with TypeScript. Once selected, Windmill automatically generates a default script that follows the required structure. For most languages in Windmill, every script must export a main function. This is the entry point for execution, and its arguments are used to auto-generate a UI to test and run the script. Let's take a look. Our current main function accepts a single argument, name of type string. Let's enhance this by adding a second argument, age, a number, and return both in response. The UI updates in real time to reflect our new parameters. With just a few clicks, we can test the script directly from the integrated IDE without having to write boilerplate code for inputs or outputs rendering. Now, Let's make things more interesting. One of Windmill's strengths is how it handles imports. There is no need to manage separate dependency files like package.json or requirements.txt. You simply import packages directly in your code, and Windmill will resolve and install them automatically. Let's import a lightweight package like CoSay for a quick visual example. As we type, Windmill's built-in autocomplete kicks in, providing intelligent suggestions based on language, context, and previously used code snippets. We update the script to call cosay say, pass it the name, and run the script again. It works as expected. Windmill is both a development environment and a an highly efficient and scalable production system and runtime. We are showing here the web editor for the script editor, but one may also develop everything locally and use Windmill purely as a production system. Here, see the same example edited and run from VS Code and the Windmill VS Code extension. It works exactly the same and paired with the CLIs to synchronize a collaborative Git repository with a production workspace. To see more about local development, the VS Code extension and Git syncs go to the video and documentation highlighted. For now, back to the main editor. Now, let's talk about scripts permissions. Every script in Windmill exists at a unique path. The path determines not just where the script lives, but who can access it and what they can do with it. Right now, our script is located under slash user, which grants read and write access to a single user. But let's say we want to collaborate with a team. You can move the script to a new folder, let's call it demo folder. Within that folder, we can assign permissions to individual users or entire user groups. For instance, we'll add the BD team and assign each member a role, viewer, writer, or admin. As we move the scripts to the new folder, Windmill AI steps in and automatically suggests a summary for the script based on its content. Everything we've done so far in TypeScript also works in Python. Let's switch languages and take a look. 
When you create a Python script, Windmill provides boilerplate code with a main function and placeholder arguments. Just like with TabScript, we can import packages directly. For example, we'll use pandas and datetime to demonstrate how Python handles data manipulation. The packages are fetched on the fly, no setup required. Windmill handles the installation and caching behind the scenes. On top of that, you can import your own private packages. Let's see what it gives for a more complex example. Windmill also has native support for S3. You can read files from an S3 bucket, upload new ones, and even write the output of a script to cloud storage, all without leaving the platform. Here is a more advanced script we've prepared earlier. It pulls a CSV file from S3, processes it using pandas, locks some metrics, and writes a transform file back into another S3 location. Some jobs may take time, seconds, minutes, even hours. Windmill handles these long-running jobs gracefully and keeps logging the progress. Here, our script runs for a few seconds before completing. Once done, we can preview the transform file directly into Windmill's S3 Bucket Explorer. Now, let's return to TypeScript and explore Windmill's AI script mode. This feature lets you generate full runnable script from a simple natural language prompt. It is powered by any model following the OpenAI specification and provided by the user. Let's ask it. Send a message to a Slack channel. In just a few seconds, Windmill AI generates a valid script that follows all the required conventions, imports, main function, and use of Windmill resources. Resources in Windmill are reusable, structured objects that store credentials like API tokens. They're securely managed and can be created manually or fetched from Windmill Hub, our public library of community build resources. In this example, we use a pre-configured Slack resource. When we test the script, the message is successfully posted to the designated Slack channel. We can also customize the script's UI directly from the metadata, adding descriptions, placeholder text, and display names for the arguments. Once we're happy with the script, we can deploy it to the workspace. This publishes the script to a dedicated page with a persistent URL. From this page, anyone with the right permission can run the script, even if they don't have edit access. This makes it ideal for operators and non-technical users. The script page includes full traceability, execution history, real-time logs, input-output values, and performance metrics. You can also view the script's log file, its full version history, and the generated JSON schema that define the structure of its arguments. When we make changes to the script, Windmill automatically track the diffs. You can review and compare versions in both edit and deployed modes. Now that our script is deployed, let's explore how to trigger it. One obvious way is manually via the UI generated automatically. Another common way to do this is via schedules. You can define cron-based schedules manually or ask Windmill AI to generate one for you. Let's schedule our Slack message script to run every 10 seconds. For reliability, you can also attach error and recovery handlers. These are other scripts of flows that execute conditionally based on the job's outcome. We'll pause the schedule now to avoid noise. You could also trigger scripts from webhooks. Windmill generates a dedicated endpoint for each script and flow. The UI lets you create secure tokens for each script. These tokens can be used in any HTTP request to trigger the script remotely. Let's try it with a simple curl command. We pass the required arguments as JSON and Windmill executes the script instantly. For more advanced debugging, 
Windmill includes a capture feature. This lets you simulate different kinds of triggers, including schedules and webhooks, directly from the editor. We'll cover this in the Flow Editor video. Let's finalize our script by updating its paths and description. We'll deploy it one more time to confirm everything is saved. The script is now available in our workspace, version, permissioned, and ready for production use. We'll cover that later, but you can edit and test script from VS Code thanks to a dedicated extension and sync your workspace with a Git repository for versioning and local development. Thank you for watching this video. The next one will be covering the Flow Editor.